Hi guys, welcome back to Beyond the Cow. You've got Sammy here uh, for Unit 1, Week 17. We'll be doing the crochet picot stitch. Now, I am working a standalone swatch, but I've done a row of single crochet, so it's a little bit uh, clearer as I'm demonstrating the stitches for this one. Um, if you're doing a standalone stitch, you'll just need to do a starting chain, not a row of single crochet. Um, that starting chain will need to be multiples of eight plus four stitches. So I've got um, 25 stitches here uh, with my single crochet. Working as a standalone, you could do 24 plus four, which would be 28. Um, and then as we start working, that'll give you the 25 that I'm working from. Now, if you're adding to your blanket, you want to do a foundation row of single crochet. The row of single crochet, you want to be looking at the back of your blanket when you're adding that on. Our first row is going to be done looking right side up. Um, so unless you want to do two rows of single crochet, you want to finish your row of single crochet, turn over and be looking at the right side or the front of your blanket. Now, um, <clears throat> because I've done my row of single crochet, I'm going to be chaining four to start the stitch. If you are doing a standalone and you've got, for example, 28 stitches, um, you are going to be working into the fourth chain from the hook with a double crochet. So I am working into the same stitch as my chain four with a double crochet. Now I'm going to work a picot but slightly different to how we would normally work it. So I'm going to chain three and then normally we would slip stitch into the chain but this time we're going to go back into the top of the double crochet that we've just done. So into the actual stitch, not the chain and do a slip stitch to anchor that picot to the top of the stitch that we've just completed. And there, uh, working into the blanket, you'll do a double crochet into the same stitch. Working a standalone, you'll do your double crochet into the next chain, the next stitch. Okay, so that's our first section done. The rest of the row will be completed with this repeated stitch sequence. So we're going to chain two, skip two, and single crochet into the next. So this is the same whether you're doing a standalone or a blanket. Then we chain two, skip two, and pop a double crochet into the, the third. And we're going to pop a pico onto that stitch, so chaining three, and then slip stitching into the top of that double crochet. And we're going to um, do that three times into the next stitch or chain. So one DC and Pico. Anchoring into the top of the stitch. A second double crochet into the same. A 
the Pico. One, two, three. Slip stitch into the top of the stitch. And a third into the same stitch. Chain three. And anchor that pico into the top of the stitch we've just done. From there, we're popping a double crochet into the next stitch. So you can see we've got a little, little bit of a fan happening with the chain space between. Now, we are going to be repeating that all the way across. At the end of the row, you're going to um, omit those double crochet with pico stitches and just pop two double crochet into the last chain before we turn. Now, if you're working a standalone stitch, this row may curve. Do not stress, it will straighten out on our second row. Now, to follow that repeat, uh, I think you'll want to go back around five and a half minutes. Repeat that stitch sequence all the way across, omitting the double crochet pico in three times in one stitch and the last double crochet. For the end of the row, you just want two double crochet in the very last chain or stitch. All right, I'll meet you back here for row two. Okay, row one is done. Chaining two as our first stitch and then popping a front post single crochet around the next two double crochet. So one of which has a pico. Then we're chaining three. Skipping the chain spaces and the single crochet and working a front post single crochet around the next five. So we're looking at the wrong side of our work, working front post single crochet. So they're gonna sit at the back. And that is our repeat all the way across. Um, so we'll finish off with a single crochet in the third loop of the beginning chain three or the first stitch, whichever um, you have there. After you have five front post single crochet, chain three. Skipping our chain spaces and single crochet and moving on to the next lot of front post single crochet. So as I said, repeating that all the way across with ending with a single crochet into the third loop of the beginning chain three from our previous row. I'm gonna be changing colors for row three. Of course, that's completely at your preference. I'll see you back here soon. All right, we're back for row three. Once again, right side facing up for this row. Now I've done a chain three to turn. I've changed colours, so I've just joined with a slip stitch into the single crochet I used to finish the row. After this chain, the chain three, we're going to be repeating this pattern all the way across. So, into our chain space with four double crochet pico stitches. So, we double crochet, we chain three. We slip stitch into the top of the double crochet. Two. Again, pico on the top, chaining three, slip stitching into the top of the double crochet that we just did. Three. With the double crochet with the pico three. So 
slip stitching into the top of that third double crochet and the fourth and final one for this chain space pop a double crochet into the same chain space no pico just a double crochet for that one then we chain two we skip two stitches and single crochet into the next stitch which will be the middle of the five so one two three Popping a single crochet, chaining two, skipping the next two and then repeating our pattern. So four double crochet picots into the next chain space. So we're going to repeat that all the way across. Finishing off we'll do a chain two and single crochet into the chain two space. Um, that we used to turn on the previous row. Okay, to follow that repeat, go back about three minutes and I will see you back here for row four. All right, we've got all our little double crochet picots. They remind me of little crowns. Look at them, adorable. Um, now we're ready to work row four. So I've just done a chain of four which counts as my first stitch and chain one and then I'm going to repeat this pattern all the way across so from here front post single crochet around each of the next five double crochet three Then double crochet into the first, uh, sorry, chain three, skip the chains and the single crochet, and then front post single crochet around the next five. So we're going to repeat that set of five front post single crochet and chain three stitch pattern all the way across our row. Now at the end, we'll be omitting the chain three and adding in a chain one, then popping a double crochet into the first chain of the beginning chain four to finish out this row. Then we're ready to turn, ready for row five. This is where I'll be changing colors again. Again, that's entirely up to you. See you back here for row five. All right, second row done. It is really such a cute stitch. I know what the next person who has a baby girl is getting off me. Because it does look so much like little princess crowns. Now row five. Chaining three. Then into the same stitch doing a double crochet. Oops. Try that again. A double crochet. Pico. Remembering we anchoring them into the top of the double crochet, not into the chain. And a second double crochet all into that same first stitch. I'm just working over my tails a little. <clears throat> uh, from there, we will be repeating the same pattern. Just going to follow along with my written to ensure I got it. Chaining two. Skipping two stitches. So one, two. Popping a single crochet into the third stitch, which will be the middle stitch. Chaining two. 
chaining two, skipping two stitches, so the last two, and then popping four double crochet picots into the chain space. <coughs> Excuse me. Some stitching to the top. One. And four. So this is our final pico for this section. So we've got four double crochet pico stitches and then we're just going to pop a normal standard double crochet in as well. And then we repeat. So we're going to repeat that all the way along. Um, on the last repeat, we'll be skipping all of those double crochet picots. We'll be doing one double crochet picot into the chain four space and then two double crochet. That will finish out the row ready for us to turn. So rows two to five are our repeat. Do them as many times as you like. When you're wanting to finish off with this stitch, you'll want to finish on a row two or a row four. So one of the rows where we're looking at the back of the project and I will meet you back here to show you how to give the project a nice straight edge to finish. All right, see you back here soon. Okay guys, I've um, just finished a repeat of row two. Um, that will be my final row of this stitch. So I'm just gonna show you how to finish off. So in the first, chain space we're going to pop two single crochet and from there we're just going to repeat the same st stitch sequence all the way across the row so a single crochet into each of the five single crochet and then three into the chain space. Now that's gonna give us the nice flat edge, edge that we need to add on to next week if we're doing a temperature blanket or to add a border if we're doing this as a, um, a project all on its own. So highly textured, gorgeous little stitch. I still think it looks like little crowns. I hope you've enjoyed hooking this one up as much as I have. Until next time, have a fantastic day and happy hooking.